Oregon, 5.9 magnitude earthquake strikes the west coast, and a second 5.9 earthquake 25 minutes later, and quake swarm. Felt, of course, rattled even San Francisco. We're going to take a look at the shake maps. The earthquake recorded at 7.52 GMT Friday, the epicenter located about 157 kilometers east of Gold Beach on Oregon coast. Shallow earthquake, no injuries or casualties reported. 25 minutes later, the second 5.9 earthquake hit um, a little bit closer to uh, the, uh, the coast. Again, it was shallow. Now, what we know about this, this is a Cascadia area, Juan de Fuca plate. It was the north section of the Gorda Ridge. It was followed by earthquake of 4.2, 3.9, and 3.2. Let's take a look at the shake maps. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. We are at Sizewell, Berkeley, and this is our area. This was the first one, 5.9, 9.1 kilometers depth. And uh, this one, 5.9, again, about 25 minutes later, a little bit closer this time, about uh, 20 miles closer to the coast. And then we had the 3.2, the 3.9, the 4.2, and this is the area, as we can see, the north part of the Gorda Ridge, off the uh, Blanco Fracture Zone, the Juan de Fuca Plate, which is one of the worst plates and movements in the world. And this is our shake frequency. Okay, this is the, the first one, no, the second one, this is the first one. Here we are. Now, the white dots are the historical earthquakes. And let's just take these off so we can see a little bit better. And the shake map is stopped here by USGS. But you can see this is San Francisco right here. That's the Bay Area right there. Remember that yesterday we had an earthquake of 3.6 right there at the junction of the Hayward Fault with the San Andreas Fault right there, and it shook even Los Angeles. And we remember that San Francisco has a lot of liquefaction there. It's a very soft area in that Bay Area, area soft soil. And um, if we extend the shake map lines, obviously it has shaken San Francisco as well. And the second one as well, right here. That's a little bit closer. San Francisco right there. Obviously you can see that that has shaken the area. There's San Francisco right there, okay? And because of the fact that it's also the liquefaction, do we have any liquefaction? No, they didn't put it in. Okay, that's okay. But let's go see uh, what's going on here with the Juan de Fuca plate and this section of the Gorda, the Gorda encampment, the North Gorda Ridge. Tectonic, the small tectonic plate, microplate, subducting under the northern portion of the western side of the American plate and Cascadia subduction zone, which is right here. And um, one of the smallest of the Earth's tectonic plates, it's a remnant of the once vast Farallon plate, now largely subducted under the North American plate. We know that uh, it also extends into the west area of Yellowstone. The plate in plate tectonic reconstruction, Juan de Fuca, is referred to as the Vancouver Plate between the breakup of the Farallon Plate about 55 to 52 million years ago and the activation of the San Andreas Fault 30 million years ago. Now, the uh, volcanism, it's formed the Cascade Range, the Cascade Volcanic Arc. All these are volcanoes here, as we know. And the Pacific Ranges along the West Coast from British Columbia to Northern California, and in turn are part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, the much larger volcanic section, sorry about that, uh, that extends around much of the Pacific Rim. 
Now, the earthquakes at the Cascadia area was the, um, the last megathrust earthquake was the 1700 Cascadia earthquake. There we go. January 26, 1700 with estimated momentum magnitude of from 8.7 to 9.2. That was huge, obviously. The megathrust earthquake involved the Juan de Fuca plate from mid-Vancouver Island south along the Pacific. Now, estimated to have the amount, as we said. Now, based on carbon dating of local uh, tsunami deposits, inferred to have occurred around 1700. Uh, that had to do with the ghost um, earth, the, the ghost tsunami, which uh, reached to the other ends of the Pacific. Now, in 2008, small earthquakes observed in the Juan de Fuca plate. The usual quakes were described as more than 600 quakes over the past 10 days. The quakes were unlike most quakes in the, that they did not follow the pattern of large quakes, followed by smaller aftershocks. Rather, they were simply a continuing deluge of small quakes. Furthermore, they did not occur on the tectonic plate boundary, but rather in the middle of the plate. The subterranean quakes were detected on hydrophones. Now, carbon sequestration. Uh, I want to go into, yes, the speed. This plate moves at 26 millimeters a year, or one inch every single year. So that's pretty fast. Now let's go to our geodesy to see how it's moving. This is the area right here where we had the earthquakes. And um, I'll get, leave you links for this, of course. You can see how the area in your area, the, your region moves, because all the GPS stations of the world are on this map. And let's go here. This is, uh, let's go in a little bit more so we can see how this area moves. Let's go see this one. CME6. Okay, we're not going to do that because that's a split section. Okay, let's go this one. TRND. Okay, it's not going up. It's going, if we're going up, it would be going east. So it's not going up, it's going west. And it's going up, meaning it's going north. So it's going northwest. And from 2000 to today, it's basically seasonal, but it's uh, subducting. It's deflating. So it's going northwest. It's going northwest. This one. Northwest and deflating. Let's go to this one. P157. That's inflating. It's going northwest, but it's inflating. And that's just... Uh, on the south side of that area. Okay, let's go a little bit closer to San Francisco now. See what's happening there. Yesterday when we saw some areas were going all over the place. They have one here, let's see. F-A-R-B, that again is going northwest. And it's subducting a little bit, as you can see. And that was out in the ocean. Let's go here to the uh, south side of the bay. MT, that's not good. We're not going to take that one. That doesn't have the information. Let's take this one. L-U-T-Z. And that again is going northwest and subducting. And let's take this one that's closer to the middle. P-O-A-K. That again is going northwest. And sort of like all over the place because that's in the Bay Area, as we said. A lot of liquefaction there. KAP1, and again, northwest and uh, subducting. So, and let's take this one. P212, okay, northwest, northwest and subducting. Okay, so all of you there, please be very careful. 5.9, so that was pretty big. And we'll see what happens. These are all today's quakes. Thank you for your support. Please leave your comment. Thank you.